Hello, Hogzilla here again. In today's video, I'm going to give my tips and tricks to completing Chocolate Factory for Tropico 6. I will not cover every single thing that I did in the full video. If you want to view the full video, I will post the links in the description below. Before we get started, if you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question or an alternative way of completing this mission, leave a comment below and please consider subscribing. Pre-building is the key in this scenario to get off to a quick start. Build two libraries, three groceries, a fire station, a pirate cove, a logging camp, a furniture factory, and when you have sufficient money, build a spy academy. Be sure to start the food for the people edict and max the budget for the grocery stores so you can get to the 1,000 in grocery fees as quickly as possible. Be sure also to max the budget on the oil wells, existing plantations, and existing ranches. On the plantations and ranches, be sure to flip the work modes to the other option. Once the Pirate Cove is built, max the budget, change the work mode, and add two rescue of many people raids in the queue. But don't do anything reoccurring just yet, as you will need the raid points for the Spy Academy. Once the Spy Academy is built, pick one of the Great Wonders, as this will be important later. Then go back to the Pirate Cove and do a reoccurring loot raid on the option that is called Aluminum Coca Shellfish. After that, build two or three Coca plantations. Keeping in mind that you will get two free plantations in a minute or so when you complete the 1000 in grocery fees. Also build a manure spreader as this will allow you to keep the plantations in the radius of the manure spreader on mon monoculture work mode. Now the game wants you to build one chocolate factory. We will instead build three chocolate factories as this will be asked for in a minute anyway. What I do with the chocolate factories is switch them all to dark chocolate work mode, then pause one of the three as you will not have enough coca to go around even though you're going to want to also take on an import trade route for coca. Now the fun of this scenario begins. The Spy Academy demands. This can be any combination of waiting an X number of days, get boats or cars, or get only cars, or get cars and money, or get money, uh, or steel plus uranium. I just recommend taking an import route for whatever you need to fulfill the demand. In the meantime, once you've produced enough chocolate, you could start exporting chocolate. Now build three embassies. At two of them, bring in the superpowers. Ask them for financial assistance from both of them just to get free money. Once you complete the raid on the Great Wonder, build it. Right around this time, you should have exported enough chocolate to get the million dollar question. Which next era option should you select? You will have a choice between stealing an international landmark, join the nuclear club, or become a tourist destination. Going with the 
tourist destination option means that you will have to get 500 tourists to come and visit your island which means you cannot pre-build or pre-get tourists to come to your island plus there is a cost to all the tourist infrastructure but at least you will have income coming in from the tourist the nuclear club option means that you will have to build the nuclear program and then select one of the options within the nuclear program facility yes you can pre-build this building and select one of the options ahead of time but the cost is huge this is why I always go with the first option, stealing a great wonder, as all it'll take is a spy academy, a few demands that can be spread out over time, and then the cost of the great wonder itself, which also does bring in income. Once you are in the modern times era, you will have your final mission presented to you. Complete three out of the five export chocolate contracts. But first, you must get the trade routes presented to you by completing some optional quote unquote quests from each of the world powers. From Russia, you will want to have a build a pharmaceutical company and make some special chocolate and make 2,000 of that special chocolate. From the Middle East, you will need to invite them to the embassy and have an approval rating from them of 70. From the EU, you will need to invite them to an embassy and have a job happiness rating of 55 or greater. And from USA, you will need to invite them to the embassy and have a level three on the right to arms edict. Additionally, China will just give you a contract, but you will have to fulfill 5,000 units of chocolate as compared to 2,500 units from the other countries. I personally go with the Middle East, EU, and USA contracts. The EU contract should autocomplete the second you invite them to the embassy as normally your job rating should be above 55. The Middle East will complete once you invite them and then you'll probably have to praise them or take on a trade contract from them to get above 70 and then you'll get that contract. And the USA one will take just a little bit to complete if you haven't pre-started your right to arms edict. So you should really have previously researched that edict so that you can get that uh, level three going. A small tip I recommend is not exporting any chocolate you have at the dock if you have more chocolate than the trade routes you currently have allowed until you have enough for all three trade routes. Else you are exporting chocolate that you don't need to export and you're just going to have to wait for more chocolate to be created and sent to the dock to complete all the trade routes. But really, it is simple after this. Just complete the trade routes and you win the scenario. That is all for this scenario. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question or a better way to complete something, leave a comment below and please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.